Eamon de Valera set his sights on the Custom House as a symbol of British administration, second only in importance to Dublin Castle. Its destruction was to be an international propaganda coup. Eamon de Valera was looking for this spectacular in the capital city, which was Dublin. And what better symbol at that particular time, the Custom House, the last symbol of British civil administration in Ireland. The IRA attack was hardly a military success, however, with the attackers quickly surrounded and no effective means of escape. Five volunteers died here. No one was meant to die that day um, and tragically four civilians did die. It was a sacrifice, a tragic sacrifice that was made. However determined the IRA was in its attack on the Custom House, it seems there could have been considerably less damage but for the involvement of an unlikely support group, members of the Dublin Fire Brigade. The overall operation wouldn't have been the success that it was in terms of destroying the Custom House without the active involvement of members of the Dublin Fire Brigade. And what's going to change events over there are the firemen going in and spreading that fire through the rest of the building. The youngest victim of the attack was 17-year-old apprentice Dan Head. Until recently, little has been known of who he was or exactly how he died. There's very little mention of him at home at all. I suppose it was uh, probably because it was too hard on my mother, I suppose, to talk about it. It took days for his family to discover what had happened to him. They were sent to the Royal Hospital and that's where they found him. He had 21 bullet wounds in him. It must have been a fair shock for my mother. You know, she was only about 15 at the time. Donald Byrne, RTE News, at the Custom House in Dublin.